Guys, welcome to this new segment of Sticks Show. I wanted to create something where we can talk about various cybersecurity problems that most of the time we notice, but the management or the leadership department may not be aware of. Or maybe they see it, they just playing blind, or they're just plain stupid. So, this is it. Welcome to Stick Show Firewall Frenzy Podcast. Feel free to share any cybersecurity rant you may have. It's your chance to let it all out. First topic I have is about this acronym slash terminology VAPT or Vulnerability Assessment and Penetration Testing. We know it's a security testing process that helps identify vulnerabilities of a system, application, network, endpoint, etc. But here are my top five problems. And actually, I can add more, or you can add more. First problem. Most of the scope that I see for VAPT, or Vulnerability Assessment and Penetration Testing Project, is just all VA all vulnerability assessments where clients just want to run scans audit slash assessments to identify potential threats and vulnerabilities a lot of third-party cybersecurity expert as they call themselves they just ran some scanning in less than a day submit very basic vapt reporting and claim oh we did vapt for this company where the f is penetration testing? The reason why we call it VAPT, PT is penetration testing because we penetrate, we attack. This task is supposed to be intrusive. Penetration testing may take days, weeks, or even months. Not only a day or two, as penetration testing slash hacking it's not so simple, and it requires skills, or even so, talent. Next, why is CEH always like the required certifications for VAPT slash ethical hacking project? My client and other companies out there doesn't know that this certification is garbage. And I started educating and asking my clients, there are many higher level, expert level penetration testing slash ethical hacking certifications. Would it be better if you require a more valuable certifications as CEH is just associate level? This is the same level with CCNA or Cisco Certified Network Associate. And as always, they don't have any clue. They don't have any idea. And they will just skip CEH as one of the requirements. Guys, CEH, CompTIA Pentest Plus, and EJPT, these certifications are associate slash junior level penetration testing certification. OSCP, or Offensive Security Certified Professional, is above this certs. OSCP is considered mid or professional level. While there are also expert level certifications out there. These are OSEP, OSWE, ECPTX, EWPTX, and many others. Check this video to learn more. Next, another rant about VAPT is most companies want to treat ethical hacking like a corporate project. Same process with application development. Same process with network implementation. They require project planning, design, testing, weekly meetings, etc. Oh my god! Ask any hacker if they care about this sh They just hack, which is difficult enough. And it requires focus. They don't want to deal with project managers, and management people. You know, penetration testing slash ethical hacking should be very simple. We will hack or attack your infrastructure, 
or attack your application will document report and do knowledge transfer where we recommend solutions that is a super simple process there is another option though someone will hack your system and application and we don't know when we don't know who but if that happens there will be no documentation no reporting and no knowledge transfer which one would you choose next many companies they don't give enough budget for penetration testing here's how it goes they require vapt or vulnerability assessment and penetration testing only once a year or sometimes twice twice Yay! all right i recommend at least once in a quarter we're going to talk about that in another video all right their budget is always too low and there will always be a third-party security company willing to work with that limited budget given that budget constraints they will focus solely on va or vulnerability assessment rather than including penetration testing and that's probably one of the most stupid decision of a company when it comes to cybersecurity. Let me give you my conclusion. VAPT is garbage. Again, as a terminology, VAPT or vulnerability assessment and penetration testing is garbage. We should call it only penetration testing or PT or just separate VA and penetration testing. You see, if you attack or if you hack something or someone's account, automatically you find first those vulnerabilities of the target. You don't need to mention find vulnerabilities and hack. Here's an analogy. You don't say we'll open our mouth and eat. We just say we eat. Or you don't say jump and do a slam dunk. We just say do a slap dunk. You see the point? Again, VAPT is garbage. For those who think they know cybersecurity, but not as much as they believe, I've got two words for you. <laughs>